Hello everyone, my name is Lauren Maley and I am with National American University. Today I am joined by alumnus Mike Judy, who recently graduated from NAU's Henley Putnam School of Strategic Security. Thank you so much for joining, Mike. Could you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Yes, Lauren, thank you. Uh, I'm gr uh, very glad to be able to provide some uh, insight as to who I am and my time with NAU and uh, Henley Putnam. I um, I work for the Department of Defense as a uh, Department of the Army civilian. I work as a maneuver planner, as we call it, out here at the National Training Center, which is a, uh, a large-scale uh, training area for uh, combat deployment uh, of our forces around the world. So uh, I work here day-to-day -day, um, in the Mojave Desert, uh, and we write scenarios from which the units come here to train in preparation for deployment and uh, help establishing our foreign policy around the world. Well, that sounds very impressive. <laughs> it's a lot, uh, it's a lot of paperwork, I will say. <laughs> so you just graduated recently back in March of 2020. That has to be pretty exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting for me. I, it has been a long road. I was, um, I've been with Henley Putnam and NAU now, it would have been five years total. I uh, mm -hmm. started back in 2015 and actually originally started with a certificate program uh, as a mid-level Intel analyst uh, certificate uh, with Henley Putnam and then uh, moved into the uh, doctorate program of strategic security. So uh, altogether, I've been with uh, the university uh, five years. Uh, it's been a very good five years and I'm, I'm very, very grateful and uh, very happy for the uh, the outcome in my time with Henley Putnam. And I know to graduate, you had to complete a dissertation. What was your dissertation topic? My topic was uh, heroism and military decision making. What exactly is heroism? Uh, heroism is kind of the adaptive or anticipatory decisions that we make on a day to day basis. Uh, they're typically made based upon patterns or mental simulation or our gut instinct. Um, these various things that we've learned uh, from prior experiences or activities uh, kind of constitute heuristic decision-making. And so I've applied that in the military sense uh, from what I see here day to day uh, in my job. Uh, so how did you expand on that for your dissertation? Uh, heuristics uh, or heurism in military decision-making, I. Um, I chose to expand upon it by doing a case study. Uh, the case I chose was a significant military event in history uh, in 1954, which was known as the Battle of Dien Bien Phu. Uh, it involved French and uh, Viet Minh forces at the time, which uh, obviously, as most folks know from military history, involved the introduction of US forces in 1965. Uh, but going back to 1945 through 1954, we find that uh, the French and the Viet Minh were at odds with each other and, and obviously ended up in, uh, in conflict or war. And through those events led to the Battle of Dien Bien Phu, which was the significant change of a chain of events between the French transition and American introduction into Southeast Asia. And internal to that battle, I studied the leaders, their, their leader traits, the spheres of influence, and their organizational characteristics, such as their uh, strategies, uh, operational procedures and processes to help understand how heuristics uh, may or may not have influenced or impact those decisions on the ground at the battle. That sounds very interesting and very impressive to go into that detailed of a look at it. So overall, what was your experience at Henley Putnam like? Uh, it was outstanding. I will tell you that the, uh, the folks at Henley Putnam are just uh, great folks. The staff and the faculty are all that you would expect and then some um, very flexible, very knowledgeable, uh, very practical, and uh, easy to work with depending upon your day-to-day -day, uh, activities. As, as we all know, sometimes life gets in the way of things and uh, even our university faculty instructors were very um, adaptive and uh, understanding and making adjustments to your assignments and uh, to your scheduling um, as your day-to-day -day, uh, activities moved on. So I was extremely happy uh, and very grateful for their uh, ability to accommodate me on occasions and not just accommodate, but accommodate me in a, in a very quick uh, time frame. They were very prompt in responding and very prompt in helping me come to a, a workable solution. So that was 
that was a huge relief uh, day to day uh, between work and night school. It was long days. How did you feel about online classes? Uh, to be truthful, I was not much of an online advocate. I, um, when I retired from the military, I went to uh, school with uh, in a, in a uh, accounting degree, and uh, I was a resident kind of person. And um, my first four years of school after being out of the military were all residency. And uh, I began to take some hybrid classes, which I was not a big fan of. But with Henley Putnam and the staff faculty and the folks at NAU, uh, you certainly have changed my mind. And I am a, I'm a big proponent now of online learning. Um, if you don't mind kind of working uh, at your own pace and setting your own regimen every day and communicating with your uh, alumni and or instructors uh, via the distant link, um, I found that online learning is probably the most adaptable and flexible tool that I can use to increase my professional development and personal development um, because it allows me to take my, my schoolwork and my work wherever I go. So knowing all the classes were online, what made you choose to attend Henley Putnam? Henley Putnam offered uh, certificates. I had completed a master's degree not to uh, a few years prior, and mm -hmm. I was um, kind of looking for a little something more. I had tentatively had my sights set on a doctorate or a doctoral degree at some point in time, and I was not sure which university or which direction I would take. Um, so by looking at various universities and various programs um, on the web, I, I kind of landed with Henley Putnam, one based upon their certificates, which would allow me to kind of take an introductory course to them and see exactly how the university worked and how well it facilitated its learning and work with its distant uh, students. And I was so pleased with that that I, I decided to stay on and move toward their doctorate program. And I am very glad that I did that. It, it has been a quite a journey, but it has been a, a very good journey. And I have, can look back on it and say I've uh, learned a lot. Is there a, a specific memory from Henley Putnam that really stands out to you? Uh, yes, I would say that probably in my initial interview uh, to apply for the doctorate program, I did an online interview with uh, Dr. Catino at the time, and uh, I was a little bit concerned about how the doctorate program works as you progress at that level and how much of it you're left to kind of work out on your own. And when it came to final exams and dissertations, just uh, how that was going to unfold, uh, not being a resident student. So. Dr. Katina was absolutely true to his word, and that is that the staff and the faculty were with me there every step of the way. And uh, that was an absolute uh, blessing to know and, and to, to have shown that that is exactly how they were. It was very, very helpful. So would you recommend Henley Putnam to other students? I would highly recommend them, yes. Students that are looking for that personalization, uh, that uh, professionalism and flexibility to adapt to your day-to-day -day needs, that is... Uh, it is a good university in that regard, yes, ma'am. So you said you've been working and taking classes at the same time. Have these classes helped you with your career? Oh, yes, they have. I, um, I can say for a fact that uh, on almost a daily basis, I apply some part of my uh, education uh, to my workload. Um, we do a lot of communicating with senior level and senior ranking officers, so communications is a big piece of that. Um, we do a lot of writing in what we call scenario development, which requires uh, historical research, which uh, is another big part of the program. And naturally we have to put all this down in a written text or through emails or via face-to-face um, -face, uh, presentations. So yes, e each part of my education has certainly been a benefit to my, my pro pro professional career and my personal career as well. Well, thank you so much, Mike, for joining me today and for sharing your experiences at Henley Putnam. I also want to thank everybody uh, that was listening in. And if you want to stay up to date with NAU and Henley Putnam, as well as our students and staff, follow us on social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.